Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Anvars and A-Rise IBO. Today, we're gonna go into servicing. Servicing is once you are done as a trainee, training for the client, and you're brought onto the production floor as an agent working for the client. All right, let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in here. So, once you are done with training, you're gonna go into what they call servicing. Servicing is once you become a client support professional agent for that particular client, okay? Once you're done with training, your instructor will let you know to go ahead and select hours. They will show you how to use the system where you will select your hours. Now, these hours are selected in intervals. Intervals are half hour sessions. That means you schedule yourself for every interval, which means for every half hour. So if you wanna work one hour of the day, then you schedule yourself for two intervals. That's half an hour, and then another half hour, and that's one hour. Easy, right? Now, once you schedule yourself, you are committing yourself to that schedule, to those two intervals. And you are held responsible for showing up at the time you schedule yourself. So at the time you said you would show up, you're held responsible as commitment adherence to that time frame that you schedule yourself for. Your first week of servicing, you will see that you, can, you have a cap of 15 hours. Now, most clients do that, and they do that to see how you handle the call flow, how you handle the calls, um, how you, you know, interact with other agents, um, you know, quality control professionals, and how you interact with the customers. They, they wanna see, you know, how you get in there. Once your first two weeks are up, they will normally you know, release that cap to 30, 40 hours, 60, I've even seen 99 hour caps. So the hours are there, you can do as many hours as you like. Once they give you that range, then you can really take advantage of working from home and schedule yourself however you really want to. I mean, you can work two hours today, three hours tomorrow, five the next day, it's completely up to you. The only requirement that we have as a company, guys, is that you do 15 hours minimum per week. Now, you will also see clients that ask you to work weekends. So some clients, and you'll be able to see that before you even start training on the client opportunity. Some clients will tell you, hey, we need you to service five hours every other weekend. So you know when you go into that client and when you go into training, that when you start working, you have to service five hours every other weekend. There are also clients that have what they call peak times. Uh, for example, seasonal clients, whenever we do have seasonal clients, those seasonal clients will definitely have peak times because they're here for a season. So during that season, they're gonna get a very high call volume. Now, there are some clients, or most clients, permanent, permanent clients with us, and they have peak time themselves too. There are times during the season when they will have huge call volumes and there are times during the season when they'll have you know, either mediocre or low call volume. It just depends on what client you're working for. Now, before you even go into training, you will be able to see what times this client operates. That means that if this client opens for servicing for you know, open hours to customers, between 8 a.m. and midnight, then that's the time frame that you will be able to schedule yourself for. So once you're working between 8 a.m. and midnight, you will be able to make your schedule. We do have clients that are open 24 seven to their customers. That means that you will be able to schedule yourself around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year normally. You will also come into uh, clients that do ask you to work certain holidays. On the opportunity announcement before you even go into training, you'll be able to see clients that say, hey, we need to work Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve. It just depends. You have to very make sure you look over the opportunity announcement before you even go into training. So guys, to wrap it up here, once you are done with training and you get a chance to go onto the production floor, you pass certification, and you start servicing, I definitely suggest that you guys 
pick as many hours as possible. Definitely, you always want to meet your requirement of 15 hours a week, but I would say try to always be the first one to your schedule. You're going to be able to schedule yourself always a week or two in advance, so you're always going to want to be there when the hours are available or when the hours for that week or those two weeks come out. Definitely always schedule yourself ahead of time. Don't wait until a day before or that day to try to schedule your hours. Make sure you schedule yourself ahead of time. Put it on your calendar if you have to, if that helps you, you know, remember, you know, how you've scheduled yourself. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Good luck servicing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys found that information useful. I'm always trying to bring you the latest and best information I can possibly bring you guys. If you guys did like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That always helps, guys. If you have any question, leave it in the comments below. I love to answer some questions for you guys. Follow us on social. We're everywhere. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Later.